So it feels good to be out here in the middle of the desert just with uh, our tools, resources, and getting ready to uh, power this 40 foot, 40 foot off grid unit. Uh, today we're going to be hooking up the solar panels to the combiner box, mounting the combiner box, running the PV lines from the combiner box to the solar array, and then hooking up our batteries and powering the unit ultimately. So we're gonna walk you through the steps as we go and kind of show you the process. This is a kit from Unbound Solar. It comes with uh, 12 250 watt solar panels, the track for mounting, the PV cords, the Magnum sign, um, inverter which this thing is a beast people we recommend if you're going to try to have all of the luxuries of a regular home off-grid uh, wherever you are this is definitely an inverter that stacks up with the rest we have uh, the DC 406 volt uh, eight eight six volt batteries here each battery is ranked uh, for 20 amp hours so that's great takes about two to three hours to charge the batteries and then you have 20 amp hours of usage based on your voltage so, so what you see here what you see here is our unistrut that has been welded to the the container inside the hut and uh this is nice because it allows you to move your connections and, and mount your electrical hardware on this. What you see here are these Unistrut connections. Uh, they basically twist in and, and lock, and then your uh, bolt goes through your combiner box, specifically what we're mounting right now, and will secure the, the uh, combiner box in place. So you see the, the holes here on the back top, of the combiner box, you'll thread that through there this combiner box specifically takes your pv wires from the solar array and then transmits that to the inverter itself um, and it's just another place where if there is an issue with the solar panels it can trip here prior to hitting uh, your other hardware this thing's about eight to ten grand so it's nice to have a little kind of a disconnect here to uh to protect your equipment we are installing the breakers for our PV wires to, to run up to the solar panels. There's four breakers, so there's 12 panels, four breakers each. There's four series of three, so each series of three connects and comes down to these breakers. And then from here and the neutral, your PV negative and PV positive, you're going to be running from these to your inverter. And that's where the inverter takes the power that's coming in from the, the photo or from the cells up there and then converts it into usable AC energy, which is then transferred into the house to the, the standard uh, breaker box in there. I just wanted to uh, kind of further explain what we're doing right here. Uh, this, uh, this plate and uh, lugs, these are your main lugs for your positive uh, array. These are gonna connect all of your arrays, your solar arrays in series, that way, you can, and that's the that's the essence of the combiner box. Is you're taking the power from all of the solar arrays, and you're combining them together to then send to your inverter, and and create power. Wait, hold up. Right here, um, we have our surge protector, and this this ensures that in case there's some kind of overage, uh, this is going to protect our system. We have the uh, the PV negative wire, this is the PV positive terminal, and, and then this is, is your ground here. So we're gonna, we're gonna wire these up real quick before we start running all the other uh, wires in here. What we have here is your PV negative. I'm just gonna leave them long for the time being in case we need to move them around in the box after we run the PV wires. Um, but we're gonna take all three, I'm just gonna strip them real quick. So again, this is your uh, this is your PV negative bus bar here. All of your uh, PV negative wires will go and tie together in here, and it's important, especially when you're installing solar, to keep in mind the polarity because that's the most important thing about DC. It's just your positive and negative, and um, you think it can be rather simple, but uh, it, 
can be messed up. So whatever you have to do to make sure that besides the red and black that you keep your polarity consistent, then do that. Some people often will uh, tape off the, the, uh, the positive side with a red piece of tape um, if the red. So up here, what this is doing is all of your PV wires positive will run into the bottom of this positive breaker here. You see all these plus signs. Uh, all of your four, your four positive leads will come into here. And then your positive lead, the number four, going to the inverter will come out of this. And your surge protector is mounted up here to the breaker. So if there is a surge, it will trip these breakers here. So your, uh, your PV positive uh, cable going up to these is going to, uh, to help protect that. So finally our third wire coming out is our ground. This is going to... Uh, ground the surge protector to the rest of every the rest of the grounds this is our what you would call our grounding bus bar we have these little set screws place the wire in there and tighten down all right so now our combiner box and our surge protector is set up and ready to accept our pv wires from the solar panels so next we're going to uh, get those out of the box, start cutting them and running them up to the top of the unit. All right, so what we have here, this is our number eight ground that's gonna run from our AC panel inside to our grounding rod and inverter. We have a, uh, per the standards, we have a number six ground that's gonna be running from our photovoltaic cells, our solar panels down to the combiner box. Uh, we have our number four wire here that's going to go from our uh, from our combiner box to the inverter to take our power and transmit it there. Uh, we have a number six wire, uh, four strand, that's going to go from the inverter to the AC panel inside. Uh, we have three quarter flex that's going to go from the combiner box for this number four to protect it and keep it in, uh, safe even though it's inside the hut. And then we have inch and a quarter here that's going to run from our service entrance to the hut. And then we're going to tee it off and we're going to bring our photovoltaic uh, strands down through this as well and, and put everything nicely into the hut. Okay, so right now we're, uh, we're going to open up the uh, inverter. I'm going to show you the guts, what's going on inside here so we can start running our... Uh, our flex conduit and lines we got to get everything set up so we have four set screws for this face panel we're going to take those off pop this off you should i can't wait to show you this thing's so magical there's so much going on communication cable so this is uh this is the heart and soul of the uh the magnum combiner or not combiner box this is the heart and soul of the uh, the inverter here you have all your switches wires um, but specifically what we're doing right now or we're going to be knocking out these holes and bringing in our our wires so first we're going to do the number four from the combiner box to here because it's the shortest run it's it's something easy for my brain to do uh, at the beginning of this so uh, We'll come right here on this uh, this knockout. You see this knockout right here? Um, we're gonna come and we're just gonna pop it out. So we have our, hey, we have our uh, two number fours here, our positive and negative lead that's gonna run from our combiner box to our uh, inverter which you see I'm running it now I'm getting uh, enough line here where we can uh, adjust it and we're gonna run it through up in here and put a little tape on it so they stay together when you're running them through the uh, the liquid tight And this one, I just put a, a little black piece of tape over it. This is going to be our uh, 
our positive lead here. Um, since both cables are, are black, I just want to make sure you keep your polarities correct again. So this is our, uh, this is our positive bus bar up here. We're going to take this set screw back out a little bit. I'm going to pop that in there. This uh, number four is multi-strand. It's got a lot of strands, so it doesn't bend well. And you got to make sure you have it in there. Now we're set. I'm gonna tighten it back down. All right. There's our positive lead. We have our negative lead down here. This is gonna go into our big screw here on the PV negative. So we have our PV negative and our PV positive wire uh, wired up to the combiner box. We're going to put this liquid tight back on there, set the screw down, break this thing because it keeps falling down on me. And then we're going to come in here and we're going to wire these number fours to our DC positive and DC negative here in the inverter. Now we're taking the number four here that we just ran from our combiner box and we're tying it into the positive bus bars on the inverter itself. So there we've just wired our positive lead. Um, next we're going to hook up this negative lead to this set screw right here. Back it out. All right, cut our length. Sounds good, right about there. I'm gonna leave just a little bit extra in the box is nice in case you ever have to move something. So right here you have our, uh, our ground wire running from our combiner box to the inverter. We're also going to have a ground from our solar array down to the combiner box and then also from our AC breaker box inside to the inverter outside. It's going to snake maybe like a foot extra. All right, so right now we're we're just taking that ground that you saw and we're now wiring it to the uh, the combiner box. So now this combiner box is grounded with the inverter in case anything uh, there's a surge or anything happens. Uh, it's important in the system that everything is going to be grounded to one another. If not, that's when issues start to arise. Hey, so the wind's picking up a little bit, and if the audio is uh, not very great, we apologize. But right now, we're, we're taking the, uh, the PV wire, and uh, they, it comes in a, a 25 and 50 foot section and a 100 foot section we have, and you have a, a negative and positive lead. So what you, what you want to do is you want to take your wire, and uh, you more or less want to to, to get it and cut it in half so you have 25 feet of negative lead and 25 feet of positive lead that will connect uh, to your array and then down to your combiner box. Um, bear with me one moment while I uh, get this halved and we'll cut it and then we'll we'll pop our lines down. Hey so now that we've got our uh, our first series our positive on our uh, first series we're putting in our negative 
uh, lead or PV line that's gonna run down to our combiner box. And that will complete our first series of three. We have uh, approximately six more lines to run, a positive and negative lead for each uh, pair of, or pair, each row or series of three panels. All right, so what we have here, we have all of our uh, positive and negative PV lines coming from our solar panels. We have them all labeled as P1, N1, P2, N2, and so on, up to four. We're gonna run them through our conduit, flexible conduit here, and we'll mount this on the uh, top of the unit. 